I'm a product of Tel Aviv University, which means that I did all of my degrees in Tel Aviv University. Electrical engineering, this is my field. I uh, was a student in uh, my faculties. I began to be a faculty member later on. And uh, I have to say that uh, whatever I have today in terms of uh, my personal career is uh, due to Tel Aviv University. So I have a lot of uh, uh, thanks to this uh, institute. Uh, and I'm very happy that uh, this community find uh, uh, a warm uh, uh, approach with respect to Tel Aviv University. When I came back to Tel Aviv University, it was after I did a few uh, decisions in my life. Uh, I wanted very much to, be, uh, to learn physics, uh, in fact theoretical physics, but I, I was not sure that I will have uh, enough to do uh, with this uh, uh, education. So I asked myself what is the closest uh, field to physics and I came to the conclusion that uh, engineering is the right direction. I asked what is the uh, toughest uh, engineering uh, department to be accepted. They told me electrical engineering, so I went to electrical engineering uh, just to show to myself that I can. Uh, and uh, during my studies, I understood that I would like to find something which is a combination between physics and electrical engineering. And uh, the solution to this dilemma was uh, electro-optics. So uh, I, uh, I needed some uh, money to pay uh, my uh, uh, fees to the university, etc. So uh, I found a job in a laboratory in my university. Uh, it was an electro-optics laboratory. And uh, we developed uh, optical fibers for medical application. This was, by the way, my first uh, invention. Together with the professor, we invented a new type of fibers that are able to transmit very high energy and uh, get the opportunity to make uh, uh, surgery inside the body without uh, cutting any other fiber. So I spent my uh, time in the university uh, in this project, in my education. I did the PhD in something else, in uh, optical computing, and I went to uh, Germany and later to the United States for postdoc. And they called me from their university, there is an opportunity to join as a faculty member, please come. And I came. Even though my uh, original plan was uh, to go and uh, initiate my own business, uh, it was uh, too exciting to be a very young uh, faculty member, so I went to the university, I built my team, but after four or five years I came to the conclusion that uh, this is not enough for me. I had already some uh, new patents and uh, new technologies that I developed, so I decided to try to merge between, between being an entrepreneur and being a professor. There are several people in the university like me, maybe five, six. Uh, it is not easy because uh, among the professors you are considered as uh, uh, the lowest level professor, a professor that makes only things that uh, can be sold, nothing exciting, you will not get any, in any time, Nobel Prize. And among the entrepreneurs, you are not the uh, one that dedicates 100% of his time, so you are not serious enough. And uh, I tried to manage between the two uh, uh, type of living. And uh, I start to, uh, find, uh, to, to initiate my, my own companies, companies that are based on uh, technologies that come from the university. I did it for uh, uh, technologies for optical communication and later for various types of uh, imaging devices, including uh, devices that uh, you have in your cell phones. 
and uh, I founded five different uh, startups, and today I'm in the process of funding my uh, sixth startup. I'm also all, all still the CEO of my previous one. Uh, this startup that I uh, managed today uh, raised uh, quite a big amount of money, more than 30 million dollars and uh, developed a new type of uh, cell phone camera which has two apertures similar to what we have in our head, two eyes, not one. And uh, the idea is uh, via two apertures we can gain additional features like uh, 3D sensing and uh, other features. And believe me, in uh, two years you are going to see this camera uh, very often. I studied accounting and economics um, and I was very active at the student union and through the activity there um, I actually found out the ability to create impact and two of my friends became a member of the Israeli Knesset. I didn't choose the way of becoming a political activist so I'm very into creating impact so I took it to the entrepreneurial world and Approximately seven years ago, I decided to establish the Entrepreneurship Center at the University. It's not that there were not entrepreneurial activities in Tel Aviv University and in other universities. Uh, it's the idea that we didn't have kind of the one roof, the place to call it. We needed a name for the baby. Um, and talking about those times, it's a total different story to what exists today in the entrepreneurial, innovative, cre creative world. Uh, no accelerators, no hubs, it was at the beginning. Um, so over there, you know, starting uh, from scratch, I built a startup. Uh, it was an initiative that later on was adopted by uh, the university, and of course with the support of the student union. Um, the last seven years, um, a lot of mistakes building startups uh, because there wasn't any model that existed. I'm talking about the most important, the most important model to create an ecosystem, entrepreneurial ecosystem, is the GAP, which is the government, academia, private sector, and building something in the academia that is not related to the academia in the sense of credit and curriculum and to. Uh, is run by a professor but is very business oriented wasn't easy at the beginning and later on by the years online we developed five departments the first one is kind of an acceleration program but it's not which means that we call it a vertical engine it's a pre-acceleration that uses the unique value proposition of the university it's a very good talent very good brand and I soon heard that the university is ranked the top uh, worldwide by the uh, worldwide ranking of the ability of the graduates to the university to establish successful VCs and raise uh, funding. Uh, when I say top 10, so beneath us you can find the app, which is amazing to think about. It. But it's not that it comes like that. We are in an area, an amazing area, which Tel Aviv University is actually the second best ecosystem in the world after the Silicon Valley. And the first in the ability of entrepreneurs to raise capital, the availability for capital, especially in the seed level. Um, so over there we develop vertical engines, so it's kind of an acceleration program, and we choose vertical, different vertical. This vertical, the upcoming one, is going to be on IoT. The last one was B2C especially in a consumer uh, e-commerce website and so on. The second department is educational one. We have courses. It's open to students, graduates, and actually Israel is an uh, international uh, uh, participant. The third one is um, an event, and we actually host one of the three biggest startup event in Israel today, which is called Tau Innovation, Tel Aviv University Innovation Day. It's going to be in May, and I highly wish you, if you want that are in the field, to join and come. It's a huge festival in one week, 5,000 people that 
from expo to competition to whatever. I'm just given a number that among 40 startups that presented last year on May, um, the amount of, mon of money they raised, and I'm talking about seed level, so most of them came with zero money, they raised already $28 million. So it's a good place to come and find good startups and also present good startups. And the fourth department is actually the international department. We are working close with the university um, to promote our activity, knowledge to knowledge, share and learn with different communities. And the fifth department is focusing only on students, uh, is to engage students and actually to create entrepreneurs. Uh, we are more into creating, taking students and taking them into the forest of innovation than creating products. Um, personally, I'm also involved with uh, a media in Israel that is related to entrepreneurism. I write a lot, it's called Start Israel, the one that really you can find there a lot of material that I write. And I am a huge fan of uh, crowdfunding and I am uh, a huge fan of Indiegogo and I support them a lot. So I also do art, music, film and so on. And hardware, I am, I think, uh, in the international environment, one of the leading uh, the world of consumer electronics and consumer goods. So everything related to that special deep into details I'll be able to share. That's it. I'm glad that today uh, David and myself are leading actually uh, an amazing structure that is actually doing consolidation of the ability to we have at the university, which has three channels the community that started our building along the years, which is the most important thing because this is what creates the deal flow, the network, and the international impact. So, on one side, the community. The second thing is the partnership and the engagement with the four credit academic uh, uh, activities that we have, mainly under uh, the faculty and the business uh, schools. And the third thing is a structure of his investment um, that runs from seed level to up to a million dollar investments. So we build now two structures. So the one that are into building structures that are related to that, we will also have to share our comments. What would you say are the main characteristics of this course of innovation, this environment that we need to create uh, for people to to be creative and, and really open the doors of, of creativity for themselves. And also, I would like to hear some failures. I think that the answer is uh, how, how far uh, are you able to go in order to uh, implement your, uh, your dream. And if, uh, if the distance is very far, it means that you are really a great uh, so uh, many, many times when I uh, try to select my partner for a new activity, uh, I stick with much less about uh, the technical material, about the market, about uh, uh, the intellectual properties, and I simply try to see uh, how much fire do they have in their eyes. And if the level of fire is not uh, high enough, I, I, I simply believe that they are not the right partners. They might be great partners for other things, for being uh, an engineer in my laboratory, or to go to work in Apple, it's fine. But not to be an entrepreneur and uh, to start your, uh, 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 your own uh, company. If you could you know, go back in time and uh, like fix some mistake you did that you really regret by like, going your business or making entrepreneurship, what would it be? We learn from mistakes, we all do. But the nice thing is mistake that you really understand, you actually see. I remember all my, my mistakes in the football, like I remember the mistakes from entrepreneurship, but the difference is that when you do a mistake, you whistle for a penalty. It's a different mistake than in the world of entrepreneurship. You analyze both of them and you learn from both of them. But in entrepreneurship, you get much better. It's not only about luck or about position. You get much, much better. It's not
not a mistake, but it's, a, it's, it's something to learn. Um, when I started startup, I didn't have money and I needed to show that there is a need and what's entrepreneurship and it wasn't easy at the beginning. Okay, people have many ideas, they get really inspired, but then they go like, okay, okay, what should I do first? This is my question. Me or whoever has this yeah. dream or idea? It, it depends very much what is your uh, background. My first step uh, in, in my next uh, venture will, will be, I think, different from your first step. Because of my experience, my wishes, and my plans, etc. And uh, in fact, we have to take all the right uh, actions for everyone, every individual. And it, maybe this is uh, the right time to mention uh, uh, in a bit more details what uh, we are doing in Tel Aviv University in order to help these people like yourself in uh, your so-called first steps. Uh, Oren mentioned it briefly uh, the Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship, uh, which uh, uh, should provide the whole value chain from the first step till the end of the story when you have your own startup and you are proud with its uh, nice success. And uh, uh, I, I think that the most important part of uh, our center, and today start, uh, this center is only over and me. Uh, we have uh, a startup, we have several other small activities, but we, we, we are the leaders of this uh, activity. I think that the most important component here is startup, because startup gets the uh, raw material. People like you that ask what should be my first step, they go to startup and they get the first exposure to this wonderful world. So I, I, I think that uh, the first step, and I think that you are going to Someone will go to, to, go to uh, a place like Startup and get uh, it in a more professional way. Your first action should be to define what are your goals. What are your personal goals? 